How are you all and welcome back to another episode of KCG Plays. My name is Kevin and today we're playing Look Be a Landlord. We'll just dive into it. We are now on floor 3. So rent payment 7 costs 25 kinds more and rent payment 8 costs 25 kinds more. Starting to see the pattern here, I presume 4 to, I think it goes up to floor 9 would be something similar. Anyway, we'll just jump into it, see what kind of synergies we get today. Okay, we could take a B, I think is the best of those. I will take a key, I think in the long run is probably better than a bubble. I guess we could take a bounty hunter out of those choices. Wasn't particularly happy with any of them. Okay, so this gives five every four spins, which isn't the worst, I guess. We could take an ore though. And we made that rent payment with no trouble. Okay, I don't particularly want a golem. I could take a coconut, I'll probably pick up either Mrs. Fruit or a monkey. Okay, tax evasion versus lockpick. Tax evasion is quite good. But lockpick, I think, is just one of the better items in the game. I'll take a banana, and it definitely looks like we're now looking to pick up either Mrs. Fruit or Monkey. I'll pick up a miner. We'll break this ore, get some early gold. Again, I'll take a dwarf for some early gold. A lockbox there. Hopefully it hits the key. Okay, not so bad. Made that rent payment without too much trouble. I'll take a reroll capsule. And out of these, I will take a ninja and mouse, I guess. I don't have either, but we may pick them up. Okay, I will take an urn. Hopefully we pick up some way of breaking it. A second urn. And we'll take a wine for the dwarf. Okay, we got another pearl out of that. I'll take a coconut half. We're definitely looking for something, either monkey or... There's a monkey, perfect. Okay, we made the 100 rent payment without too much trouble. 150 due in six spins. And out of this, we should take a sapphire, I guess, and... Rusty gear is quite good for the late game. Okay, let's take a ninja. In the long run, will be worth more. And uh, there goes a mouse for the ninja. Okay, we'll take the bear. It's worth two, which isn't too bad. There goes the monkey. That should be a nice influx of cash. Okay, and we'll take a lucky capsule, hoping to get a rare. We can kind of build this deck around. Okay, we could take a... We could take a chef. I think so, yeah. Kind of build into a bit of a fruits run. Okay, we made that rent payment without too much trouble. I don't particularly like any of these, so we could take a uh, thief. And we could take grave robber. Excellent, we do have the two urns. The thief gets rid of the banana peel, which is okay. We'll take another thief. We do have the bounty hunter. And we'll take a sun, I think, is excellent. It gives three by itself, and if it's next to flowers, it's five, five times multiplier. They haven't changed that, have they? Nope. Okay, mega chest is brilliant. That should mean when that breaks, we'll make our next rent payment without any trouble. A bubble, I think, is the best of those choices. Two spins, okay, we've already made it. I'll take another urn. Uh, 
and I'll take another coconut half. Okay, we made that rent payment easily enough. 300 June 7 spins. We already have 217. Okay, here I'll take a wine for the dwarf and anthropology degree. Excellent. That'll make things like the dwarf, the miner, the bounty hunter much better into late game. As they're now worth two instead of one. I will I take a second flower? I think so, yes. Okay, I'll take a beer for the dwarf. And I don't particularly want another mouse, nor do I want any of these. I'll take another flower. So we're looking for kind of raindrops, bees, that kind of stuff. I'll take an urn. How is our symbols doing? We still have four empties, so it's okay. I'll take a cheese is worth more than a beer. Cheese gives 15, beer only gives 10. Okay, that was our inventory. We do have three flowers. I'll take a fourth flower, and I think that's enough flowers for now. Now we're looking for multipliers for flowers. Okay, we pay up. We made that rent payment easily enough. 375 now due in eight spins. I could take a witch for the spirits we're likely to get. I think I will. And a fish tank, I believe. I don't particularly want Lefty the Rabbit. But though we are looking for rares, okay, let's remove the kind and let's remove one pearl as the most worthless objects that we have. Okay, I'll take a bubble. And out of these, I don't particularly want any of them. Let's reroll and we'll take a tomb, excellent. So the tomb breaks immediately. Hopefully the witch will get one or two hit offs before we, before they go. Oh, excellent placement on the witch. Okay, a cultist is worth one, but it's not great. So I'll take a cheese. The dwarf finally hits the beer. Okay, another bee is decent for all the flowers we have. I don't want another bounty hunter. I don't want any of these. Let's take a, another urn. Okay, I guess we'll take a bubble. How are we doing? We made 375 easily. And we have 283 left over. So 450 due in eight spins. Okay, not so bad. We could take a, we could take a bartender. It, it gives three and 10% chance of giving alcohol. We could take a rain cloud. Uh, raindrops give one more and rain are common instead of uncommon. And we are looking for rain. So it's tough because we're kind of, we're looking for suns for, so that they're rare. We're also looking for rain which are, and bees, which are both common, I believe. So the question is, would I take a hexatidium if it was offered? I think I probably would. There goes a the rain. Excellent. This is looking like it's shaping up to be quite a nice flower build. I'll take another cheese and let's remove the other pearl. OK, 
Okay, I could take a seed. But I won't. I'll reroll. I'll take a goldfish. It's not great, but it goes into a goldfish bowl. I'll take another B. Okay, I think another goldfish out of all of these. How are our symbols doing? 25 symbols, not too bad. 24 plus one empty. Okay, paying up 450 with 291 left over. So 575 due in nine spins. I don't want any of these. I will I take time machine? No, probably not. Gives three if at least three symbols are the same. That will always be worth three, should be, so I'll take it. I was looking at the lunchbox, but you might pick up a beer or two, but I think the green pepper in the long run will probably be better. So we're getting about 44, I'll take in goldfish I think in the long run will actually be better than an urn. Someone's cutting the grass outside, I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully it's not too loud. I don't want any of these choices. Give me one sec, I'll just make sure that the window is closed. Okay, hopefully it should be quieter now. I'll take a coconut half for the monkey and let's remove our worst symbol, which is probably the, either the minor, no, they're worth two each. The cherry is only worth two if it lands next to the chef. Okay, what do we have? I'll take another B. And about 50 a turn, not too bad. Let's skip this. Well, this turn should be decent. This flower should be worth a bit. 40 from each of those flowers, excellent. I'll take a goldfish. In the long run, it'll be better than a wealthy capsule. Okay, I don't want any of these. Let's skip. How's our inventory doing? 25 symbols, two of which should be leaving it fairly soon. I might pick up a second dwarf maybe. We seem to be getting a fair amount of beer. Okay, uh, we made that rent payment easily enough. 434 left over. So 625 spin, uh, 625 kinds now due in nine spins. And a Tune versus a treasure chest. I think a treasure chest is probably better. Happy hour is excellent with the beer, uh, with the bartender and the dwarf. Let's remove the miner and the sapphire as our two worst symbols, I think. Okay, we're starting to get some decent synergies hitting with the flower. Card shark, excellent, but I'm not going suits. I'll take an urn. And we got a hundred in that. Now, hexatidium, this is like, will I take it? I won't, I'll take a removal capsule instead. We really want another sun or two, although I don't think this will have any problem in winning. But to go properly endless, we need more suns. I'll take a wine for the dwarf. I actually wouldn't mind another dwarf. Just to help clear up the deck a bit quicker. Okay, let's remove. I, I wouldn't mind keeping the bear just in case we find a beehive. So I think we'll remove the monkey.
Okay, we don't want any of these. I'm going to keep my rerolls and then use them just after I've paid rent so that I'm guaranteed rares. Hopefully pick up another sun. I'll take a wealthy capital. Okay, 125, not bad. I don't need any of these. So four around this one should be worth what? 32, excellent. I don't need any of these either. Okay, we've made this rent payment easily enough with 638 left over. So 675 due in 10 spins, we need about 68 per spin. That should be easy enough. I don't want any of these. General Zaroff. It would clear up our deck a little bit, but no. I will take a beehive though. And I'll take a small symbol bomb and let's break it and let's use a hexatedium and not a hexatedium, a capsule of tedium and that's pretty much it. Hopefully we get another rain would be nice. I'll take a goldfish though, five goldfish, six goldfish now, not bad. I don't want any of these. Okay, we're getting, I would take a second dwarf, as I said. How's the inventory? Three empty symbols, so we're doing okay. Okay, there should be some decent hits here. 16, 20, not too bad. I don't want any of these. Sixty-four. Well, like a lockbox is a beast. Is a beastmaster worth it? It would improve my bees, so it'd probably be worth five or six. How many bees do I have? Five. No, I will take a lockbox though. Okay, we'll skip all of these. I must look up how many common symbols there actually are. If anyone knows it, leave it in the comment section below. Um, I'll take a tomb and I'll remove cats, I guess. They're only good with the witch, so let's take him out of here. And what is our other not great thing? The the chef or the bounty hunter? Let's remove the bounty hunter. We probably won't pick up a thief at this stage. Okay, will I take another bee? I think we have enough bees and the beehive will give us more, so don't need to worry too much. Okay, let's pay up. We made that rent payment easily. So on the last rent payment, 777 during 10 spins, we already have 730, so this shouldn't be a problem. Let's reroll, get another sun, excellent. Bears give one time five more. So now the bear will be worth three, I believe. <coughs> I like Big Urn for the witch. And I'll skip these. Ok, 
Okay, uh, skip these. And do we have any chemical sevens already? We only have one. I think safe is better. But oh, there wouldn't be much in it now. I don't want another flower, no. Safe is worth 30 plus one for every turn. Chemical seven is worth seven plus one third of 77. So 20, say 26, 30 odd. Yeah, they're pretty much exactly the same actually. I'll skip all of these. Skip this. Skip the toddler. Our inventory is doing all right. Oh, we finally have one that hits two suns. 25, excellent. And we made that red payment with 767 left over. So floor four has been unlocked. This time your landlord was pecked by chickens and let's continue playing in endless mode. It wouldn't need much now for this to become a true endless run. Um, another another sun will probably do it. I'll take the white portal that's worth six by itself. Oh, this flower should be worth a fair amount. 400. Let's take another rain. This safe has been sticking around for a while. Let's remove now, probably the ninja and the mouse. Skip this. There goes the man with the lawnmower again. Okay, let's carry on. Let's skip this. How are we doing? Not too bad. We already have the next rent payment, so we're pretty relaxed. I think I think two dwarfs to one bartender is a decent number. I mean one to one is prob probably fine, but definitely you don't want more than two to one, I don't think. Okay, we had a flower there worth a hundred, not bad. We do have a honey now, actually. Hopefully the bear will get to that fairly soon. Another chemical seven. This chest has been sticking around for a while. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's take an urn. We still have a kind of spirit sub deck going on here. Okay, I don't think I'll take a beer for the dwarf. But maybe, I mean, there is two of them. It shouldn't stick around too long. Unlike this chest, which is still going strong through an entire rent payment. I got that from the last rent payment, didn't I? Okay, rent has increased to 1500. So we need 150 per spin. We don't quite have it. Let's Reroll looking for another another beehive. Sure, I do I think I'll probably need to get rid of one of them. Capsule machine is excellent for that. That'll help us if we need a removal capsule. And at this stage I think the chef is the worst. So let's remove him. Okay, not too bad. I, I don't think we should get plenty of bees with the beehives. The chest finally breaks. Not too bad. There goes another bee. And the honey. Okay, how is our inventory doing? I'll take an item capsule. Pick up two common items.
Okay, Highlander is worth six. It's pretty decent, but not in this run. Okay, a lockbox I don't think is worth it. How is our 20? We do have 25 symbols, of which only one, two are to be destroyed. So we can keep going, I think. Once it goes above 25, though, I'm going to remove one of those beehives. I don't want them filling the board up with stuff and meaning our sons don't get onto the board. Okay, let's continue. A another dwarf? No, I don't think we need another dwarf. Oh, this flower should be worth a fair amount. 32, okay. Definitely without the suns. See, this flower now only has four things, five things run. Okay, this one should be worth a fair amount, actually. 400, not too bad. Another B, no, I don't think so. I wouldn't mind a few removal capsules. Okay, we made this rent payment, pay up, and so 2,000 due in 10 spins, let's see what we got out of interest, silver arrow, I mean it's probably, probably okay, let's take it, and we could take a shrine, but I think we'll leave it here guys, I think this definitely has the potential to go on, another pickup of a sun, but this one is, it will definitely scale faster than the rent payment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully the lawnmower guy wasn't too loud. Um, give us a like if you liked the video and comment down below. Let us know how you're doing on climbing the floors. We've just finished floor three, so floor four should be out tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in that video as well. Until then guys, cheers for now.